Today on Trisha. I left you and I haven't seen you for 30 years. Oh, right, get oh, it, get oh, it, get oh, it. Oh, 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 you had to the baby door. Man up. Hey. Mitch is here to prove that he is the father of 37-year-old Shelly. I've known for 37 years that Shelly is my daughter. You claim this whole time to be my dad, and you're not, and you know you're not. I've been there for Shelly when no one else was. And he's not been there for me. He has been a really dad to me. Shelly's mother, Lulu, insists she was already pregnant when she married Mitch. You're a damn lord. You know you're not the father of my daughter. Shelly needs to open her eyes and see her mother for the lying, vindictive woman she is. You're 100% sure that Mitch is, is not, not the father. But he's listed on her birth certificate. Why would you do that? I was in a hard situation at that time. You used it? Yes. Today, the DNA will end decades of deceit. Caesar denies being the father of Anna's baby, Mark Antony. The only reason Anna's saying I'm the father, cause she need a live-in babysitter. All she care about is leaving me at home while she go out party with her friends at six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. Is Caesar in denial? You don't want a man up that's his father. You don't want a man up that's his father. That's Anna where he get that color hair from. She said it was her exes. You told me that you used to have that same exact hair color when you was younger before you started with oh. Jerry Curl. One of her. At two DNA? Today on Trisha. This is Shelley, and Shelley is here to uncover a 37 year old family secret. You see, when Shelley was seven years old, she discovered that this man, Mitch's name, was on her birth certificate. But when she confronted her mother, Lulu, she claimed Mitch married her, knowing she was pregnant with another man's baby, and agreed to keep it all a secret. But Mitch insists Lulu is a liar, and he's here to prove after 37 years that he is Shelley's father. So we're going to start by listening to Mitch's side of this drama. I've known for 37 years that Shelley is my daughter. There's two reasons Lulu is saying I'm not the father. For one, she's trying to cover up the type of person she is. A cold-hearted bitch who constantly left me for other men. And two, probably out of revenge because I wouldn't take her back. I think her lies are sad and pathetic. If I didn't think Shelly was my daughter, there's no way I would have taken her in when she was 16. And I'm upset because Shelly's sitting here trying to say I wasn't a good father. I've been there for Shelly when no one else was. And unlike her mother, I've always been honest with her. Shelly needs to open her eyes and see her mother for the lying, vindictive woman she is. It's been 30 years since I've seen Lulu, and if she should die today, I wouldn't care. All I care about is proving to Shelly that I am her father. Wow. Well, as Mitch mentioned, it's been over 30 years since he's seen his ex-wife, Lulu, and they will come face to face one last time here. But first, Shelley, what do you think of what you heard? He's the bitch, for one thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, he is. And he's not been there for me. He has been a really <laughs> dad to me. OK, I want to take it right back to the beginning. So when did you first even hear about Mitch? When I was seven years old. What happened? What happened? Something had to do at school. I needed my birth certificate, and I got a hold of my birth certificate through my mom. And I was looking over at the names, and I had seen his name. I said, "What is this? Yeah. Who is this man?" I was shocked because that's not the way. That's not what I was raised with. You were raised with some other man yes. as your father. Yes. So what did your mom? My tell mom you explained Mitch. to me that she was already pregnant. That she married this man because she was forced to. That's why I had his last name, and that's why he, she, he was on the birth certificate, because they were married. But not because he was your father? Not because he was my father. But you actually met up with him. How come? When I was six, I was going through some tro troubles, some struggles at the age of 16, mm -hmm. and I had to get away because of the struggles. So I went to um, Texas. That didn't look, work out very well. So my mom somehow got a hold of him, and I got a hold of him. So oh, I Mitch? Yes. But she, why did she get a hold of a guy who wasn't your dad? Because I was at the point to where I was going to kill myself and I oh, really Lord. needed someone to help me. And did he yes. help you? Well, when I first got there, everything was going well and then he turned into a monster. Did, so that was pretty good of him to he take He did you. do that. But what went wrong then? He chose his family over me. Uh, they didn't like me. So all this 
first time you still thought he wasn't your dad. Yes. Were you confused? Were you thinking, I was, why am I here? I was very confused because he has claimed this whole time to be my dad. My mom has claimed this whole time that he is not my dad. Oh my God, what do you believe? I believe my mom. My mom would never lie to me, ever. Yeah, and I'm true. sticking to it. To my death, no matter what the result is, my mom would never lie to me. What do you mean, no matter what the result is? No, I believe with all my heart the result is going to come back that he's been lying, that he's not my dad. So has he been in contact you, with you since then? He has been. We, I, I have been in con with, contact with him from the age of 16 all the way up until now. I just want the truth to come out so I can prove to him this is why he treated me the way he has. Because I'm not ah. him. Now, Shelly, you're in a really difficult situation. Yes, I am. Because if the DNA test proves that you are his bi Mitch's biological daughter, what does that mean? Oh, my goodness. I can't, I what does it mean? Does it mean your mother's lied to you the whole time? Someone, something's not right. Yeah. I don't know if she lies to me. Maybe she made a mistake. Maybe he made a mistake, but yeah. would you want to have a relationship with him? Of course. You would? Yes. Now, do you think you look like him? No, what do you think? I don't think I look nothing like the man. You don't think so no. at all? Does he think you look like he you? He thinks I look just like him. No. I in don't what look way? like him. In what way? I, do not, I don't look like him in any way. Right. He is not my dad. So how are you at this moment with Mitch? At this moment, the situation at this moment is that I'm not on good terms with him. I just Why? lost my brother in oh, April. I'm sorry the day I heard that he died, I was at his house, Mitch's house. He t when I was screaming and crying, he said, shut the up, people die. So I am not on good terms with what? him right now. Yes, he put me through that. That is what he said. Yes. Why did he say that? I have no idea. You have no idea. But when I needed him all the times in my life, that's what he's done to me. So are you? Yes. That's why he's looking down. But then if your mom says he's not your dad, why have you kept on going back to him? Because he says that he is. A part of me wants to believe and a part doesn't. Wow, this is so difficult for yes. you. You are really stuck in the middle. Yes. All right, I want to give Mitch a chance to explain his side of things. So, and there are always two sides, yep. or three sides to every story. Please welcome Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Have a seat, have a seat. Mitch, um, there are always two sides to every story. You really believe that you're Shelley's dad? Yep. So can you take me back to you and, and Shelley's mum, Lulu? Um, were you married? What was the situation there? Were you married? Oh, I just got out of the Air Force and I uh, knew Louise from uh, a couple of years before that and we started having sex and it wasn't too long after that she found she was pregnant. And then you got married? Yes. That is such a lie. My mom was already pregnant with me. She was two months to one month pregnant. Then she got with you. That's the same story she's told me. She told me you were going to lie. And this whole time you've kept the same lies that she told well, me that you were going to say. So you're saying, no, you, you got married. You, you got together as a couple. She fell pregnant. And you, you split up. Yeah, we, uh, she, we were about a month into the relationship. And uh, she left me to go back to this other guy. Oh. And um, I went down and confronted her and um, she came back a few days later and we were back at it again, but things but, weren't the same. So. so you split up after a year, you and Louise. Why was that? We just didn't get along. He was jealous of me. That's why they split jealous up. That's why my mom left them. Well, well, you were actually there, Mitch. So, so why did you split up? Well, just being young. You, know, you were being, pretty young. Being, we, were, we were both only like 18 years old, you know. Now, Shelley says when she ca came to your house when she was 16, she doesn't seem to think that you wanted her. Well, I sent for her, didn't I? That was attention. It was for attention to show. Attention? It was for attention to show. I will believe that for the rest of my life because well, he's not been a very on, good dad minute. to me. You really believe in your heart and soul that she's your daughter? Oh, absolutely. What similarities do you think how, you have? How can you claim to be someone's father that you don't even take care of them right and that you reject them and you you just neglect them you can't you can't do that you can't you chose that family over me you know you did you have but but let, let you claim this whole time to be my dad and you're not and you know you're not hang on let, let mitch speak do you feel you've rejected her or in some ways yes i have yes yeah, he why, has. in why? some ways I, i've been intolerant with her when i should have been patient when i needed him the most right you know wasn't dead. are you sorry for that yes i am he needs to be he is. Especially when my brother died. So you haven't seen 
Louise or Lou, your your ex ex wife, you were married the two of yes. you, right? Yes. When's the last time you saw her? Can you Thirty remember? years ago. Thirty wow. years ago. So you think this DNA test is gonna show that you are her dad? Yes. It's not my dad, it's gonna show differently. It's gonna show my mom's not a liar. Well, I think it's time that we let these exes come face to face. You might wanna scoot over. Why? Why do you say that? Just my mom doesn't want to sit by him. Okay, well, we'll let her move her chair if she feels like it. Okay. So uh, let's meet Lulu. <laughs> Next. You're a damn liar. You know, you're not the father of my daughters. I left you and I haven't seen you for 30 years. That's right. Get her back. Get her back. Later. Caesar denies being the father of Anna's baby, Mark Antony. The only reason Anna's saying I'm the father, because she need a live-in babysitter. You don't want a man up that you his father. What I'm going you don't want a man up that you his father. If you want to be with a younger you don't guy, want to man up. DNA no, drama. No, you know you're not the father of my daughter. Today on Trisha. I've known for 37 years that Shelly is my daughter. If I didn't think Shelly was my daughter, there's no way I would have taken her in when she was 16. I've been there for Shelly when no one else was. Shelly needs to open her eyes and see her mother for the lying, vindictive woman she is. He's not been there for me. He has been a really dad to me. You really believe in your heart and soul that she's your daughter? Oh, absolutely. Let you claim this whole time to be my dad, and you're not, and you know you're not. Well, I think it's time that we let these exes come face to face. Might want to scoot over. Why? Why do you say that? Just my mom doesn't want to sit by him. Okay, well, we'll let her move her chair if she feels like it. Okay. So uh, let's meet Lulu. <laughs> you know you're a damn liar. You know you're not the father of my daughter. You know I was pregnant. I told you that. I told you from the get-go, you're a liar. I'm not the liar, you're the liar. You didn't even care nothing about my daughter. I'm the one that left you. You didn't leave me, I left your hey, That's what I'm talking about, That's right. You That's right. left when she was two years old. I left you and I haven't seen you for 30 years. That's right, get her back, get her back, get her back. Have right. a seat, have a seat, uh, Lou. What happened then? According to Mitch, you were a couple, you got pregnant, you got married. Yes, I was forced into the marriage. I didn't want to get married, but, but I was 19 years right. old so who, and I was pregnant. So who were you pregnant to, Mitch? No. Oh, to another guy. That's right. But why is Mitch's name on the birth certificate? Because I didn't want the other guy to be on her life. Okay, so you chose to put Mitch on the birth yes. certificate. And when she found out about Mitch, yes. what did you tell her? Oh, when she was seven years old, she needed it for the school. I gave it to her and she said, whose name is this? I said, it's a guy named Mitch. He signed his birth ticket. But why did you give her Mitch's contact details when she was alone at 16? If, she, if, she's, if you're saying she's definitely not his daughter, why hand the, the, the contact details of some stranger, some guy you don't even know? Well, that's true. Uh, why? That was my fault. If he genuinely isn't her dad, why would you do that? I was in a hard situation at that time. Struggling. And struggling. I, I needed somebody but better than what I was So you, you used him, basically? Yeah. Yes. You used him? Yes. Wow. It was for my safety. Mitch, does that hurt hearing that? No, it doesn't. What? It doesn't? No. Why? You're used to being treated like that? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. By who? Oh, uh, just different... Um, Different people treat you like that? Yeah. So Lulu, what, did Mitch know that, did you tell Mitch at the time that Shelley wasn't his daughter? Yes, I did. Yes. And yeah. what? So he just didn't I say told anything? I keep it a secret and we kept it a secret. That, that's yep. not he said, true. Yes, it is true. Yep. Is yes, it is true. Yes, we're going to find out today. So you are 100% sure, let me get this right, you are 100% sure that Mitch is, is not, not the father. father. Yes. Um, what would happen, just let me ask this, if, if he turns out to be her father, then what? Would you apologize? Or? Yes, I will say I am sorry. Yes, I will. Oh, you will? Uh, yes, yes, I will. Yes. All right, well, it's been a mystery for 37 years. Yes. Um, so, Shelley, you want to find out. You're yes. in a difficult situation yes, anyway. You want to find out yep. if Mitch is your dad. I, know, I heard you calling him dad before. I call him dad. Right, well, why, if you are so sure he's not your dad, why are you calling him dad? Because I want a dad. How old are you? 37. Isn't it time you kind of moved on from wanting a daddy? Well, <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's find out.
All right. So, let's find out the DNA test results. Do you want to open the envelope, or should I? You've offered it again. Would you like me to help you open it? Okay. Here we are. So, is Mitch your dad? Let's find out. Coming up... Today, the DNA will end decades of deceit. But first, Caesar denies being the father of Anna's baby, Mark Antony. The only reason Anna's saying I'm the father, because she need a live-in babysitter. You don't want a man up that you his father. You don't want a man up that's his father. You don't want a man up. You don't want a man up. You are the father. You're for school. DNA drama. You know you're not the father of my daughter. Today on Trisha. All right, well, this is 21-year-old Anna who says she was shocked when this man, 46-year-old Caesar, knocked on her door. He knocked on her door. He insisted they go on a date. Well, within a month, they were living together. They broke up, and Anna revealed she was pregnant with a one-year-old son, Aww. Mark Anthony. Now, they're here today because Caesar claims Anna is a chronic cheater, and he denies the fact that this precious little boy is his son. Aww. In fact, Caesar says Anna herself once let the cat out of the bag. Watch this. I feel Anna been trying to trick me to make me believe that Mark Anthony is my son. I want to believe he's my son, but nowadays you just can't trust women. The only reason Anna's saying I'm the father, because she need a live-in babysitter. I'm 25 years older than Anna. I should have known better than mess with a younger woman. All she care about is leaving me at home while she go out partying with her friends at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning. When Anna told me she was pregnant, we weren't even together. She was living in another state. And to me, that add up to me not being the father. It was one time I took Mark Anthony to the emergency room and asked Anna where he get that color hair from. She said it was her exes. If she's so sure I'm the father, could you tell me why was she so quick to say that? As for her sister Shantae, she needs to mind her own business. She don't live in my house. I would love to be the father. But Anna, if I'm not, you packing up and you getting out. Wow. Well, I need to tell you, Anna isn't alone in this DNA war. Backstage is her sister, Shantae, who says she came all this way to put Caesar in his place. Uh, we'll talk to her later in the show, but Anna, um, Caesar says, what? You're deceiving him? You've led him on? Okay, first of all, when I got with him, it was, we was about a month into our relationship and I got with him. He, we wanted to move together and everything. Yeah. And we winded up breaking up because it wasn't working. When I left, I was pregnant by him for one, but I didn't know I was pregnant. And I called him and I told him, first of all, you know what I'm saying? I'm pregnant and everything. You How know? did he react when you told him you he were was pregnant? Like, he was like, he didn't react like nothing. He was just like, okay, you know my situation and this and that, that and this. And I was like, well, oh. right. What and situation? He was basically, I guess he was saying that he's basically, he, you know, who wasn't ready for no baby or whatever, but I wasn't either. But I feel like I got tricked into it, you know, because he was busting condoms and everything. He was what? Busting condoms. Because he, he didn't want to wear condoms on purpose. Did on you purpose. know he was busting the condoms? No, I found out after I was already pregnant. And when I came, when I called him and I came back. I so, so, let me, let me, so what, he's making holes in the condoms? He busted them because he didn't want to wear them, okay? And I found that out after when I was already pregnant, when I was laying up with him again. And, and I said, that's what you've been doing all along. That's how I wound up getting pregnant. I left. But was he there during your pregnancy? No, he wasn't there. He didn't come to no doctor's appointments or nothing, but he signed a birth certificate. Who, 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 who was with you? All, who was with you though, all that time? That you who was to... with me? My family, my sister, my mother was with me. Not, Not him. him. Not him. Now, I understand. I understand when you were pregnant, you got preeclampsia. That's a pretty scary right. thing. He and must have come running. Did he, Caesar, when you, he knew? No, he didn't, he didn't come running. He was talking about he trying to find a way down there. And he did wind up coming down there the next day after the baby was born because my mama brought him. And he oh. wanted to borrow some money. So if it wasn't for that, he would have never he, came. He wanted to borrow money He wanted who? to borrow some money. Of if you? it wasn't for that, or for me. If it weren't for that, and I'm in the hospital sick, they had to cut me, do a serious emergency C-section. So you're lying and there the and out. he wants some money? He wanted some money. That's the only reason I feel like he came. If it wasn't, he didn't want the money, I don't think he would have came. 
So shouldn't he have been bringing money? He, yes, he should have been bringing money. Because he didn't do nothing for the baby. He should have been manning up Ooh. and taking care of his responsibility. And that's why after today, he gonna do that. Now, he, today. Said, he said something about you being in the emergency room and you saying that, that your baby's hair's like he about, No, he just came out of nowhere. He don't know nothing about Facebook because he old. So he was strolling through my phone. He was strolling through my phone and he seen the picture of my ex on Facebook. Right. So he seen the picture and he was like, I got a question. What color is your ex here? And I looked up, I said, his color. Because it is my son color here, but that's not his baby. And I'm being honest. You, you said something interesting there. You said because he's old. I mean, there's 25 years age difference. Is that starting to show? He want to he wanna be controlling. He don't want for me to go out nowhere. He think when I leave, I'm supposed to be gone 30 minutes to 45 minutes and all that. What? You know, and when I'm going to see my mama, that's why he that's why he really feel like probably the baby, you know, what I'm saying probably not his or whatever, because when I when I go see my mama and stuff and my family, because they stay in a different, he he feel like uh, he don't know what I'm doing or whatever. And like I said, I'm 25 years younger than him. And he want to try to have some control and he don't want me to move on with my life. He want me to sit up in the house all day. Does he act him. like an old man? Yes. Well, as you heard in the tape, Caesar says Anna is claiming he's the father because she needs a live-in babysitter. So let's meet Caesar. It's his son anyway. It's his Can I sit over there with you? Olivia and babysitter. Hi. Can I come over here? I want to sit there. Why, why do you want to sit over here? I don't want to sit by her. I mean, I deal with the lies and everything. The lies? The lies. So you don't believe that, you don't believe that little boy is yours? I'm not sure. You I mean, named him. And yeah, you gave him your daddy middle name. You're right. So, you named him. So why? And you signed his birth certificate. Did you bust the condoms? No. One of them broke one time when we was having sex. And sometimes, sometimes she didn't ask me to wear a condom. She was like, I want your baby. How old are you? And and I am 46. 46. So a 20 year old, or eight, how old were you when you met her? How old I was she? I was 19. She was 19. So right. a 19 year old says, I want your baby. And you go, oh, that's cool. Well, when I first met her, I was kind of attracted to her. And with me being an older guy, I thought it might have been funny. I asked her mother, could I date her? Right. And got permission. Right. You know, because I didn't want no problem later on down the line. Yeah. Is she I'm, a problem because of the age difference? Well, He's a problem because of the age difference. He want to lock me down and think I want to stay in the house up under him 24-7. When I got no. things to do, I'm trying no. to open up businesses and I'm true? in school. No. 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 See, this running her mouth. Well, why, why is she lying? You know, why would she lie about that? Because that's what she do. She lie half of the time of where she go, what she doing, who she with. Do you think when, she, she yeah, goes yeah, with other like, men? Like you can call her and instead of answering the phone, she'll text back. And that's what women usually do when they, when they, when they don't want the guy to know where they at. That's what they do. They text back. You know, they don't want you to hear what's in the background. Are you, in, are you on Facebook and everything? I don't mess around with none of that. Because you're tampering through my phone. No, and it's you just, take the picture no, of my ex. You asked what color was his hair. You didn't ask where he get the hair from. And you no, lied. I you asked you exactly. You're not even telling them. I asked you exactly. You're not even telling them. I asked you exactly. Why was she so quick to say that? Why was she so quick to say that? You didn't. You know, she didn't think about it. She just came straight out and said it. He not even telling you know? them that you told me that you used to have that same exact hair color when you was younger before you started wearing oh. jerry curls. One of her... Y'all act like y'all ain't wore before. I'm quite sure somebody my age out there. Real. So you might as well just cut it out. You might as well cut it out. Are you a couple or not? Yes. We more roommates because she sleep in the bed. I sleep on the couch. Because so she, we gonna keep she it like that. She wake, so she wake like me that. up, loud, always in my ear. It's always oh, something. So, it's so always just a minute. So are you not intimate anymore? Are we off not? and on. Off and on. Where was you so, at last so night? So, Where was you at last night in the hotel? Where was you at last night? Where was you at last night? Can I answer that? 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 You don't keep it real. You don't keep it real. You beg it for last night. That's it. That's it. Okay? Let's keep it real. So you didn't get intimate last night? We did, but she came to my room. Oh, she came to my room. Oh, no. She came oh, no. to my room oh, no. with oh, my no. son. Oh, she no. came to my room. And who seduced who? 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 Oh, I, oh. I, oh. All right then. Okay. Let's keep it real, boo. Excuse me. Let's keep it real. I'm Can sorry, I, but I want to keep it very real. When we first Wait, get... Just a minute. I want to keep it. 
I want to keep it very real. Did you use a condom or are we going to be here no, in we're another... Gonna use, oh, no, we're no. going to... See, I'm birth control, oh, 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 so we don't oh, oh, need to use, up, we don't need up, to use the condom right control. now. Yep, I'm on birth control. I got on birth control because I ain't trying to let get stuck up again I like can't I did tell. the first you time. You want my daughter. How do you feel about Shantae being here? Because Shantae was the one with her the whole time through her pregnancy, through all of the trouble. She was playing daddy too, from what I hear. Yes, she did his job. Yes, ma'am. Yes, she did. There's two stories to it. And when you deal with a woman, she tell her story to the family, and the family disbelieve it. Okay, huh. so you was know? you there? Was you there? Why my sister had to fly from New York and take care of your son? Because I was. I went with you. I went with you at the it time. It don't matter. You ain't got nothing about me. It's about your son. She it's up, about your son. I still you made up my mind. My yeah. sister should have been here for him. All right, let's take a break. Here. We are going to take a break. But up next, we'll meet Anna's sister Shantae, who says she's here to set Caesar straight. Stay with us. <laughs> Next, Anna's sister Shantae says Caesar is nothing but a predator. He's old enough to be your dad, and that's gross. We broke up because she was childish. You, you, know you don't want a man up that you his father. <laughs> Later, today the DNA will end decades of deceit. <laughs> DNA drama. You know you're not the father of my daughter. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. When I say I'm in the middle of something, I'm in the middle of something. This is 21-year-old Anna who's at her wit's end with her 46-year-old boyfriend, Caesar. You see, Caesar's denied he's the father of Anna's son from the moment she told him she was pregnant. But there is one more person who's fed up with Caesar, Anna's 19-year-old sister, Shantae. She's not only angry at Caesar for denying her nephew, but for taking advantage of her sister's youth. Now, before I bring her out, she had a message for you, Caesar. Take a look at this. Anna, I know I never told you how I feel about you and Caesar's relationship, but I have to get it off my chest. Caesar, I think it's ridiculous and childish of you to deny my nephew. How dare you say that my sister was sleeping around? And that she's trying to pin the baby on you because she needs a babysitter? That's just dumb. Caesar, I know that you're Mark Anthony's father. In my opinion, you're just a selfish old man who needs to grow up. Anna, to be honest, he is way too old for you. He's old enough to be your dad, and that's gross. Anna, if he doesn't change after this, you need to just leave him for good. Oh. Good. How do you feel about that? She needs to mind her business and worry about her relationship. Let's meet your sister. Please welcome Shantae. Coming out. Boo! 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 <laughs> Funny. Shantae. You sound like you were a really good sister. You were there all the t through your sister's pregnancy. Yes. Do you think you're the dad or not? I don't know. I don't know. You, what, what, I what, when you deal with a woman, it's like 75% no and 25% yes. What, all women? All women. Okay, first of all, I just want to say he's just selfish. I feel like you're just old and you just want to trap her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you need to, you're too old for this. Trap her? I you know what I'm saying? You just way too we old for this. We broke up because she was See, childish you, you, and I felt she should be with a younger guy. I'm no, we asking. broke up Maybe you should be with a guy going through college. Just like you is now. Just like you is now. You can't change Just like you is now because you don't want a man up that you his father. You don't want a man up that's his If you want to be with a younger guy doing what you want to do, then you should be with that younger guy. So why are you still right, living so why, together? Why, why, why are you still in my house? If that little boy is not biologically yours, I'm just putting it to him, what would you do? I'm out of there. You're out of there. Yeah. Because it's a... Yeah, I hear you. Because I shouldn't stay there anyway because the other father should have a chance yeah. to meet his son and all that. And why, why would I want to stand in the way of that? If you, right, laugh what, at that, Mark Anthony. Why would I want to stand in the way of that? You know? What if you are the father? Then I'm going to take care of my responsibility. Wait, how? <laughs> like I'm supposed to do. Baby, like I'm doing now. If the baby is your baby and you're going to meet your responsibilities 50-50. Okay, so let's find out. <laughs> you want to open this? Well, let her right. sister open. No, hang on, hang Ms. on. Ms. knows okay. me hey, and people's they business. Don't, they don't have doubts. It's, uh, am I right? Do you have any doubts? No. No, you're the one who has doubts. Finally release. Y'all don't know just like she don't know. Be quiet. You know what? He is the father! Get up out of here with that boo! Get up out of here, baby! Get up out of here! 
out of here. Get up out of here with that boot. Is the father boot white? No, no. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, God. 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 Oh, be a man, let's go. Let's well, go. No, uh-huh. you don't have to touch me. Right, you okay, right. Touch me. Is the father, is the father, is the father, what? Is the father, stop playing. Right, so, so. Caesar. That's the word you uh, take the line Caesar. No. Oh, now you want to flip it. No. Exactly. Oh, 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 no, I didn't take the line Shut up, shut up. You the one you didn't take the one. Shut shut up. Up. one. Shut shut hey, one. hey, listen. We offered both of you lie detector tests. Neither of you wanted to take them. No, I was willing to take them. No, you weren't. Yes, I no, was. No, I know he's right, because all that's lies. Yes, so, let's concentrate on that little boy watching this go back and forth. What do you think? Let's be serious. What is it going to do to him to see all of this rubbish going back and forth? The way you bond with the child is to do for the child, not money, is to hold, to feed, to wash, to And that's what I've pretend. been doing. That's yeah. what I've been doing. But now you know he's your right. son. Yes. Do you owe Anna an apology? Because I apologize. You do apologize. Yeah. Are you really a right, couple? You. Are you actually really a couple? Do you know if you're sleeping in one out, a part of the house, she's sleeping in another, do you genuinely want to be together? Because if you don't want to be together and all you do is argue, isn't it better being a parent from afar? A, a yes, it is. It is. But we've been trying to work on it. Well, right. maybe while you're here, you can talk about getting some assistance to yes. work on it. Yes, so I love her, can, so yes. You do love her? Yes. We'll be right back. Next. Today, the DNA will end decades of deceit. For more information about DNA paternity testing, call 1-800-798-5955. You are the fuck. You're the fuck, sir. DNA drama. You know you're not the father of my daughter. Today on Trisha. I've known for 37 years that Shelly is my daughter. I've been there for Shelly when no one else was. Shelly needs to open her eyes and see her mother for the lying, vindictive woman she is. He has not been there for me. He has been a really dad to me. You really believe in your heart and soul that she's your daughter? Oh, absolutely. You Let claim this whole time to be my dad and you're not, and you know you're not. No, you're not the father of my daughter. You're a liar. I'm not the liar. You're a liar. So who were you pregnant to? Mitch. No. Oh, to another guy. You're 100% sure that Mitch is, is not, not the father. father. Let's find out the DNA test results. Do you want to open the envelope or should I? Leave off this gun. Would no. you like me to help you open it? Okay. Here we are. So is Mitch your dad? Let's find out. Mitch is the father! Just so you're sure. Oh wow. What are people saying? People are saying, hang on, uh, let me come to you with a microphone. Have you got something to say? I mean, why wouldn't you why wouldn't you tell her that that's her, her father? I mean, why lie? She thinks she lied. You lied to her. Why would you lie to her like that? Why, you. why would you want to hurt that man like I didn't that? That's actually lie. I didn't think he was oh the my father. God. Wow. I did not think he was the father. Yes. I didn't believe 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, you know you know a lot of people you say that um, Shelly, this blood is thicker than water, but in this society, if someone stands up and says he wants to be a father yeah. to a daughter, you should have respected that. Look, just move on. That's all you can do. Just bless God and move on. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Jesus. Uh, now, so, Shelly, how do you feel? I am shocked. This whole time, I believe that he was not my dad. I thought the other day was my dad. I was convinced. I am because shocked. Because I believe my mom so much. I don't want to. What? You, are you saying you just made a mistake? Possibility. It's a possibility. Oh. I'm not I believe that. My dad. I gotta you all. Uh, listen, just a minute. Could, could it be that you were so angry or whatever the circumstances of the marriage breaking down that in your mind you were you kept his daughter from him really effectively? Am I right? Yes. But you were so angry and so hurt. Sometimes we tell ourselves things over and over again and we start believing them. Yes. So the, the end result is you have one mixed up daughter who wa wanted with all her heart mm -hmm. to believe in what you had to say and has now realized that the, she's been deceived for whatever reasons yes, and, I told her and I she's am lost sorry. all of these years. Yes. How are you feeling, Mitch? I feel good. You feel good? Yeah, I'm proud. Are things going to change between you and Shelley, do you think? Uh, we, we got work to do. Yeah. We but got work to do. One of the things I've noticed about Mitch is that he's been very open to owning up yeah. to his mistakes. From the minute he came out to, on this stage and you were angry with him, he owned up to the mistakes he made. And I think humility is a really good place to start for reconciliation, don't yes. you? Yes. I believe with all my heart he was not my dad. This well, now you know. Yeah. yeah. Now you know. Give him my love. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's Shelley's life if she chooses to, to forgive her mum or power to her. Sometimes we need to do what's good for us. And hatred is often really detrimental yeah. to one. Well, it usually is detrimental to one's own health. Yes. So I, I hope you can work this out and ensure that you get time together as father and daughter. Yeah? Thank you. We'll be right back. Next, what happened after the cameras stopped rolling? Updates on today's guests. <laughs> DNA drama. You know you're not the father of my daughter. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Now, we know you want updates on the stories that appeared on today's episode. And as always, we strive to give you the most accurate, up-to-date information. So here is today's Trisha Airdate update. Caesar says he was overjoyed to find out he's really the father of Mark Antony. He's in his son's life, and he and Anna plan on starting couples therapy. Shelley and Mitch say they're closer than ever. They're building their relationship and trying to make up for the past. Shelley says she loves her mother, but it will take time to forgive her. We'll be right back. <laughs> DNA drama. You know you're not the father of my daughter. Today on Trisha. Okay, you can turn the volume on the TV back up. They've gone. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining us today. Um, been a pleasure having you. Join me tomorrow for more truth. See you then.